The Sanwa Extravaganza begins, courtesy of SanwaAmerica.com, the best test instruments on the market today, Sanwa Multimeters. Oh yeah, let the fun begin. Now, if you've seen my videos, you know I love my Sanwas. Some of the best multimeters built today. They're tough, they're extremely well engineered, and they are darn amazing value for the money. It ain't no fluke, baby. Sanwa is one of the top names in electronics. Off the SanwaAmerica.com extravaganza, we have the CD772 direct from Phoenix. Yes, it is so cool. I gotta say, being able to get a, a multimeter from an authorized distributor in the United States, no more having to wait, you know, for a long time for that international shipping. Um, I just think that's uber, uber cool. Now, I did the CD771 review uh, many years ago, pushing five years ago to be exact. Uh, yeah, my style has changed, but Sanwa definitely has uh, not. There's still some really good fabrication going on here. First thoughts out of the box. Man, this meter is heavy. Whoa, this is a heavy, heavy meter. Um, has that built-in boot, rubberized, texturized uh, exterior corpus, whatever you want to call it. We have those nice uh, test lead holders over here. But just generally speaking, first impressions are, man, this thing is really well made. If you've ever been lucky enough to own a Sanwa, you know that the uh, boxes they come in are just top notch, really well made, solid. I mean, this is gonna protect your meter in shipping, no problems. What do you get in the box? You get your CD772 manual. It is in Japanese as well as English. Has everything you need, all the pictures, uh, presets, specifications, what have you. Uh, really nice manual. You get a thermocouple because yes, the CD772 does temperature unlike the 771. That's definitely a bonus. And of course you get some fantastic Sanwa test leads. They are these these are the TL25As. Um, I love my Sanwa leads. I've been saying it for five years on YouTube. I just love them. All gold tipped, super sharp, very easy to hold. Um, just very nice test leads all around. And look how well those test leads fit into those input jacks. Oh man, those things are in there nice and tight. Definitely not going anywhere. Hooked up right now to the precision voltage output reference and whoa, 10.00, spot on baby. CD772, what a great way to start. Look at that display, it's really bold uh, font. I like it, I like it a lot. Uh, good size, probably the perfect size, at least for my eyes in terms of referencing the display. Uh, very, very easy to make out. Um, in terms of the overall look, I find when it's actually down resting uh, like so, you get the best look. Uh, when it's up on its tilt stand, uh, it's still good, just not quite as contrasty, but uh, honest to God, this is a really nice looking display. Now as well, you do have a back Backlight, hold down here for two seconds and we get backlight here. Now it's one of these backlights that are kind of ho-hum, I think, but uh, at least it does have a freaking backlight and that's important. Uh, we'll stay on indefinitely until you turn it off. So that's obviously another bonus. Let's take a closer look at that selector switch, starting off at the off position. Bolts AC DC up to 1000 volts. Resistance, continuity, and diode. Frequency, up to 100 kilohertz. Capacitance. Temperature, in Celsius only. Microamps, AC-DC. Milliamps, AC-DC. High current amps, AC-DC, up to 15 amps. Top of the meter, we have four switches. Well, not switches, let's call them buttons. The select button on the far left, the data hold, which also doubles as a backlight, range hold, and finally our relative. Below that, we have our nice LED visual for the continuity. Bottom of the meter, we have our positive input on the top left for voltage, frequency, capacitance, resistance, diode, and continuity. Below that, we have our common or ground. On the far right, a little bit different, we have a plastic or rubberized uh, protector, one for the high current 15 amp input and another for the microamp milliamp. My only faux pas here is the fact that we do not have that 
red indicator for the positive. Yes, it's red here, but oh, I just wish the input would be red. In terms of safety ratings, all we have here is the CE marking of approval. Um, that's it, that's all. Uh, true RMS, as it says, uh, very nice. Flipping around to the back, here we have our Sanwa electric instruments. Yes, this Sanwa is made in China. I really like the tilt stand on the 772. Um, it is solid. Wow, that sucker is in there perfectly. Probably, I mean, you can't get much better than that in terms of just overall performance. Easy to pull out, has a nice finger grip, and it just is super sturdy on that. Selector switch itself, it is a little soft, but listen to that. Oh, you know I love it, you know I love it. Clickety click, clackety clack, hits that range with authority, and this one definitely feels better than the 771 much much nicer next up is capacitance not no unfortunately the 772 only has a 100 microfarad uh reading so uh, you can't really test much with this in terms of capacitance too bad yeah i'm really digging this display very nice look at the size of that enunciator for diode it is huge wow loving it okay speaking of diodes that's where we're in right now diode mode start off with a standard diode and forward voltage drop not a problem no audible beep at all but hey starting now with the red led and it is not lit over to the green oh my or the yellow i should say green blue oh my goodness yeah wow that kind of sucks so nothing not a pinata in the uh, LED illumination department. Oh man, why? And well, that's why a paltry 1.5 volts output voltage in diode. <laughs> Just not enough, not enough. AC volts now, remember this is true RMS. Uh, look at that, 120.6.7 volts, beauty. By the way, when we turn the meter on for the first time, it does default to DC volts. Already continuity time, stock default test probes. Remember, these are the Sanwa TL25As. Here we go. Oh yeah, latched, loud. Oh, nice, sweet continuity uh, LED display. Oh, I love it. I love the visual with the audio. Let's try some Probe Masters. Pro Masters. Latched loud again. Honestly, no difference between these and the Sanwa leads. Let's see how loud it is. Sixty-six decibels, maximum output volume in continuity. Definitely liking these rubberized caps uh, for the high current. Keeps it clean and honestly, uh, just a good way to make you, you know, aware that you're changing input. So kudos to Sanma for that. I already have it hooked up to the Sigwin power supply. Here we go. 3.2 amps is what it's set to right now and 3.20 not a problem now we're at 10.24 amps there we are we have no high current enunciator no high current alarm anything like that remember this goes up to 15 amps uh can't get it that far right now on this test bed but there we go and let's just bring it down a little bit shall we 4.2 3.88 according to the power supply 3.87 oh look at that accuracy for the sanwa and let's bring it down a little bit more 1.41 amps Spot on beauty. Don't forget with every Sanwa you get that Sanwa certificate of calibration. Basically they've tested and calibrated the meter before it left the Sanwa factory, wherever that factory is located. So that is a very nice thing. Hey, hope you're enjoying the review thus far and don't forget like, subscribe, ring that bell baby because you know that makes the Google Analytics even better for the channel. Better channel, better toys, awesome. 
By the way, as well, don't forget, I have special coupon codes courtesy of SanJuanAmerica.com. Below, you're going to save, I think it's up to 20%, right? Discount codes. Oh, 20% savings on a Sanwa shipped from the United States. Man, what is going on? SanJuanAmerica.com. A uh, couple of great guys I've been dealing with there. And uh, Satish and Henry. Hey, shout out to those two. Um, they have done a lot to uh, get the SanJuanAmerica.com uh, active, active for the channel. So thanks again. Shout out to SanoAmerica.com. Visit the website. Amazing prices. Amazing selection. Um, incredible. Next up is temperature. Now, there is an ambient sensor on board the CD772, as you can tell. And boy, is it ever sensitive. Um, it is adjusting to the temperature right now in the lab. And it's coming up to around 21.4-ish or so degrees. Now, if you want to use that thermoprobe, the attachments themselves are here on the right side of the meter. So you have the Celsius indicator here, plus and minus temperature probe. And just stick it in there and see if there's any difference compared to the ambient sensor. Yeah, so there is obviously a difference by a couple of degrees by the looks of it. Whoa, is it that cool in my lab? 18 point. Still going, still going. I gotta turn that AC down, my God. It's gonna start to snow in here. 17.5 degrees Celsius, 18 degrees or so. So yeah, about 72 Fahrenheit, give or take. And just for the heck of it, I brought in a second opinion using the same thermocouple. It's a Sandler thermocouple and 17.3.2 degrees, 0.5. So yeah, spot on with the Sanwa. 400 ohm to 40 mega ohm. That is the range for the Sanwa. Sitting right now at two mega ohms. Let's bring it up to five mega ohms. Takes a little while to settle, but it gets there uh, in style. Nine mega ohm. Yeah, definitely not the fastest meter for resistance ranging. Alrighty. Let's do one mega ohm. Beauty, beauty. 1.1. There we go. 1.11. God, I like ones. Beauty. Just for the heck of it, I did try 0.5 ohm resistor and it was a no show. Um, here we have a 100 ohm. Can we, can we, can we? Yes, we can. 100 ohm precision resistor, and look at that. Super accurate, beautiful. Teardown time for the CD772 from Sanwa. Two AA batteries are what powers this multimeter, and that housing is just like that. So a lot of times it's under the um, uh, tilt stand, but in this case, no. One Phillips screw and you are good to go. Nice brass threaded insert on the inside and overall build quality here. Plastic wise, everything looks really top notch. Okay, let's take it apart, shall we? And see what we, oh yeah, check it out. Oh my God, loving it. Well, look at that. We have our piezo over here on the inside. Um, no shielding, unfortunately. Uh, good quality, high grade plastics. But uh, pretty slim pickings other than that. Uh, nice uh, cutouts here for the battery terminals. No shady jobs here at all. Uh, a little bit of blast shielding here as well on the sides. Overall, really nice. Now let's get to the creme de la creme, shall we? Whoa, check it out. Boy, does that big, massive 16 amp Siba Busman fuse. Look at that, look at that. So Sanwa has given an overrated fuse. 15 amps is the high current rating, giving you a 60 amp fuse for safety. Gotta love it, oh yes. And below that on the low current side, we have another little Siba ceramic as well. And, and that is a 500 milliamp fuse, so a Gorgeous. Oh, I just love those ceramics, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. And uh, look at that current shunt. Big arse current shunt here. Massive current shunt as well for the uh, current mode. Oh, beautiful. Input jacks themselves, not as exciting. Split variety and they are soldered in. Soldered in well though, so no worries here. Um, yeah, there you go. We got one PTC. What am I saying? One, we've got two PTCs here. Uh, unos dos, we have dial protection here, here. We have well. a spring that's probably to make contact with the piezo for the continuity. Um, very, very sweet. P 
PCB is very clean. Uh, it looks high grade quality as well, rather thick from what I can tell here. Sanwa CD 7720433. Don't know what those date codes exactly explain, but uh, yeah, definitely. I'm pretty sure this is a pretty recent build. Here's our tin can oscillator as well. IC is on the other side. Um, generally just a very clean overall look. I love it. Already gonna put everything back together, come back with my closing thoughts. Closing thoughts of the CD 772 from Sanwa. Wow, I like it. Yes, I know some of the specs are a little on the ho-hum side, I agree. But you know, at the end of the day, this is a super built multimeter. Feels great in the hand. I love that display, contrasty. Um, it's, it's, you know, all in all, a decent performer. If, and I say if, you don't need LEDs as part of your day-to-day -day testing environment, then I think this is a really good choice. Massive high current 15 amp input, um, excellent overall quality build. Agreed that frequency could have been a little bit higher as well, but at the end of the day, hey, it is what it is. Digital multimeter CD772 with the true RMS built in. I think this is a definite upgrade from the CD771. The Sanwa CD772 gets a solid three out of five stars. Love it, gotta love it. Hey, thanks for watching this review. Everybody, SanwaAmerica.com continues. Lots more coming this week. And we're giving away Sanwas. We're giving away Sanwas, courtesy of SanwaAmerica.com. If you haven't checked out their website, put it on your to-do list, put it on the radar. Man, oh man, anything Sanwa, they have it. Till the next one, keep on testing.